Hello, my beautiful wildflowers. How are you today? Alex is here with Oat Modesty. Today, I want to go ahead and show you the look I created using the Nabla products. You remember the one from Trend Mood Box? So if you're interested in seeing what it looks like and how I got there, please do stay tuned. <music> my beautiful wildflowers are you ready well I did promise you that from my trim mood box that I would do a look by Nabla and today I'll be using the cutie palette and this is the analog okay and um, here is the color story here and the reason why I'm doing this one instead of the midnight is because I do have a meeting later on and uh, I need to make sure that it's yeah yeah Okay, and um, also I'm going to use the other product by Nabla, which is the eyeliner that matches with it. And this is number seven, and they do have little numbers here, and this is number seven, okay? So they try to match those things, so that's good. But, but before we get started, yep, affirmation time. So let's quickly do this. What is our affirmation today? Oh, this looks kind of short. What is it? We were created to be dreamers. We were created to be dreamers, and I totally totally agree with that um yeah and I, I think if we didn't have the ability to dream I, I don't think we'll be able to handle life as we know it and it's the ability to really take ourselves away from our realistic lives and do a little dreaming and it's okay and even if it's just you know dreaming for things that we know that will never happen and this is a reason why a lot of people get involved in romance novels right I mean how realistic are those not really but people want to dream and people want to be given that opportunity to, you know, go out of their normal comfort zone and say, okay, I wonder what would happen if I did this and let's dream about it, right? And so that's part of self-care and mindfulness is, you know, really allowing yourself to dream. And it's a shame when I see people that, you know, a lot. Of, there's some people I know that were raised with such strictness that they don't allow themselves to dream. They put a guardrail around what's acceptable and they stay within that, but they're not happy people, I can tell you. And so, yeah, I mean, I, I'm sure all of you have dreams. And I mean, the thing is, aside from dreaming, I mean, I sometimes get, I'm, I'm one of those people that like to get lost in my dreams when I'm not doing anything. If I am, let's say, on a patio in my lounger and I'm just looking out in the nature, I dream. I dream about the potentials and the possibilities as well as dreams I know would never come true, but you know, it's fun, okay? So I just wanna leave that with you today. Again, we were created to be dreamers and there's nothing wrong with that, okay? So, alrighty, uh, let's go ahead and move on. Um, I'm not gonna do a step-by-step -step like, oops, I just dropped the card, sorry about that. I'm not gonna do a step-by-step -step type of thing today. I'm just gonna kinda, um, yeah, do here and there and uh, let you know what I think about the palette afterwards. But I do want to go ahead and let you know I did prep my um, eyebrows. This time I used my Anastasia. And this is the actual, um, what, do, what do they call this? A permod. And I apply this with a brush like this, okay? And this is what I used. Um, I wanted to do um, something different. Actually, my eyebrows were really unruly today. So I did do that. Anyway, so, uh, and I did not prep my eye, uh, eyelids, not eyebrows, eyelids, because I'm going to try something different. And this is something I do ever so often. And that's using this eyeliner as base because I want to give this look depth. And so, yeah, that's what I'm doing. So let's see, does there, is there a mirror in this thing? Oh yes, there is a mirror. <laughs> and so let's get it going. So I'm just going to go ahead and apply this um, all over my eyelid and just kind of brush it out. And I hope hopefully this is not one of those that dries like really fast like um some of the some of the uh eyeliners i have i mean if you don't really address it really quick it dries really fast so let me do one eyelid at a time just in case okay and let me see what brush do i want to use for this i think i'm gonna have to use some kind of a, like a little bit of a firmer brush and so let's see what do we have what do we have okay here we go I'm going to use something like this so I have control over where the, this base goes. So, yep. And so, everybody, and like I said, I do have a meeting today. I'm just letting you know. I'm just talking through this instead of telling you step by step. But 
I do have a meeting today, a Zoom meeting, so I don't want to make this like really totally crazy because I don't know how much shows up on Zoom, but um, you know, I don't want to take the chance, even though there's a bunch of like, you know, Hollywood Squares type of deal kicking, which is a bunch of people in little boxes. But I think when I'm talking and I do a lot of that, <laughs> I think it, my Hollywood, you know, uh, the, what did I just say? Yeah. Um, I forgot what it was called. I just said it. Oh, Hollywood Squares. Hollywood Squares uh, box gets really big. So I just want to make sure that, you know, I don't look crazy. And if I did blue, I think that would really stand out. And so I really didn't want to do that because, um, you know, my job is quite conservative type of job. And, um, yeah, I don't want the leaders to think that I, I am working remotely going crazy. So it's okay. It's okay. So there we go. Hey, this is not bad. And it did not dry. Oops. Hold on one second because I totally dropped it. Let's do this slowly. And so let me see. Um, yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and do that. And it, as I was saying, it, it totally didn't dry really fast, which is nice. I like it. Certain, you know, eyeliners, I really wanted to dry fast. And, but I think this is a multi-use stick according to the, um, the box. And so I think it's not going to dry as fast. But I'm curious to see if it's going to actually dry down. Um, but yeah, and then the other day, I was actually um, using the other one, which is the side-by-side -side palette. And man, that look came out really nice. I wish that I had recorded that one. But um, yeah, I had another important meeting and I needed to get it done. So, But since I promised you guys this, I'm hoping that this will at least go up on Saturday. Um, because I have other things. And you guys, stay tuned because I think um, I'm going to be releasing the uh, giveaway over the weekend. And I will just make that video like, uh, you know, it's a giveaway type and just do the mindfulness card. And from there, it's okay. looks like this side is a little bit darker. And so anyway, yeah. And, um, and you guys tell me what you think about this product. I don't know. Have you ever used Nabla? And um, do you like it? Whoops. Because you know what? I've, I've used several of their palettes now and I really, really do like it. I really do like it so yeah okay I just have to like come off the camera and blend it out because um, yeah it's hard for me to do when I'm talking anyway so I'm just gonna go ahead and um, just do my creases with this powder one to see if this um just actually does add depth and I think it does and you know I'm limited as far as the colors go as you can see and there's only two mattes in here and this one I'm using is a matte so yeah and um, I'm trying to do different looks. And I know today when I'm recording this, the um, video with Angie went up. And um, yeah, let me know what you think about that as well um, if you've watched it. So that's a collab that's been happening like on a monthly basis. And so that's good. And um, yeah, it's kind of fun doing those. And I really enjoy doing the ones also with um, Stephanie, uh, Opinionated Horsewoman, because um, she's really fun. And um we had a little bit of a uh, logistical te technical difficulties uh, I, on our last video with the Juneteenth, but I mean, we came out of it good. And then the thing is, it was really stressful, but I mean, we hung in there and I really, I really did appreciate her uh, friendship and, you know, how she communicated with me. And, you know, I would do a collab with somebody like that any day of the week. And I, I really do enjoy her anyway. So, yeah. And, uh, yeah, I know she's not very happy about it. And, um, she was stressing and, you know, I wasn't stressing because it is what it is. If we don't get it up, we don't get it up. I just take my video down and we do it another day. Right. But, um, yeah. And I had a, um, what do you call it? Uh, giveaway to it. So yeah, it was, it was quite stressful for her. Oh, bless her soul. So anyway, uh, let's see next. I will go into, um, I think. I think that's pretty good. What I'm going to do is I'm going to darken it up with this here. And um, I will go ahead and just do a flat brush. And I'm pretty much just going in, as you can see, uh, with um, mattes. Whoops. Sorry about that. That's that's my alarm. I have alarms for like 20 million things. Uh, otherwise, I forget. And if I something gets canceled, I, don't, I forget to um, take off the alarm. So, yeah. Okay, so what I want to do next, I mean, I just added a couple of colors, right? So let me make sure that um, that's, they're all matte, right? So, but I'm gonna, I want to put a little bit of sparkle in it and I don't want to be over the top. So I'm just going to go in with this one here that's overexposed. 
um, this one here with my fingers and hope that I don't regret it um, because it is quite, uh, yeah, it is quite bright in the palette, but actually it doesn't look too bad. It kind of blends and I've been liking this type of look where I just kind of go in there with my fingers and tap on it. I don't know what's wrong with this mirror. Oh, there's a plastic on it. I'm like, why isn't it sharp? I haven't peeled off the plastic. Duh. Okay, and so I'm just going to tap this on there. And I think this is nice, actually. You know, I mean, there's still, there's still a little bit of um, shine. But, yeah. Hmm. And I also see a remnant of that. Um, I didn't do a real good job blending this as far as here. So I'm just going to clean that up here. Blend this part in. Yeah. Actually, I like this color scheme. Okay. So that's that. And let me just go ahead and go off camera and put the rest on and I'll be back. Okay. I'll be right back. Okay. I'm back my beautiful wildflowers and this is the finished look. And, um, I really, really enjoyed this eyeshadow palette, but then again, I've been loving Nabla. I mean, it is so easy to use. And so let me, let me tell you, first of all, what I did, right? Once I went off camera, I did use, I did underline using the same pen or, um, this arrow is what they call it, right? It's, um, multi-purpose eye pencil. And I did underline underneath to match the actual color scheme of the um, eyeshadow, which was made for that, which is great. And then what I did was, um, as usual, I used my, whoops, I put it away already, my MAC um, uh, mascara, my MAC mascara, waterproof. And uh, then uh, what I did was I went, let me see what else did I do. And I did use my MAC foundation because I wanted the matte look. Um, I don't like to be shiny when I know I have to go on, um, on Zoom. So I'm really uh, cognizant of that, what I need to be wearing if I'm going on Zoom. Otherwise, I'll be shining. So we don't want that. Okay. And then what I did was I did browns my face and uh, I used my terracotta, okay, by Jolan. I think that's how you say it now. I looked it up. It's a Jolan. I used to say Gorlan, but I said Jolan. Anyway, so that's it right there. And this is such a beautiful, I mean, this is, I've been using this a lot lately. So yeah. And everything else gotten forgotten. But anyway, so as far as my blush, again, I went with my Chanel and this is a uh, petal. I think it's petal. Um, yeah, it's rose petal. Yeah. Rose initial, sorry, rose initial. And this is the shade that I used. And uh, the reason why I've been falling onto this is because uh, I need to go on Zoom and it's very faint and it's very classy. You know what I mean? The way it goes on, it's not too heavy. My NARS tend to have too much pigment. I really enjoy this for when I need a subtle look. And then as far as my highlighter, and I mean, I love this highlighter. I haven't used it in a while. It's my Natasha Denona. And I use this side here only, okay? This side only. And so I forgot about the blush here. So I need to start using that a little more. And as far as my, um, oh, I also like to brighten up under my um, eyes. And I've been, I usually don't do that in a winter because I'm white anyway. But in a summer when I start to get color, this really looks nice. And, you know, it really brightens up my face. And so I use the, um, uh, the H Rewind. And I, as you notice, I use this a lot. I mean, you know, when I use it, I use it. And so I just tap that underneath and then I go over it with, you know, a brush really easy. And that's that. And the last thing I use is my lipstick by, um, liquid lipstick by Natasha, De Natasha Denona. Why do I keep saying her name? Pat McGrath. <laughs> and this is in Divine Rose. And this is a liquid lipstick. And I know my meeting is in for a while. So I need to make sure that, um, yeah, I have, um, you know, Staying power. So that's that. And as far as the, I think that's it, right? Yeah. As far as this palette here, guys, I mean, this is really a nice palette. I really love the way it feels and you see the colors that I use. And I mean, I use this, this, and this to get this look that I have, but it's so nice and subtle. Not only that, it's so blendable, very blendable. And I really enjoyed it. And it's really easy to use. And uh, the pigment isn't over the top so that way I'm not having to correct you know 
over pigment because you know I go directly from pan to eyelids, right? And so that's that. But I do highly recommend the Navala line, especially if you're a beginner and you're, you're trying different things. I mean, this is a very user-friendly palette. And the only thing I would do different is that when I did go in with the arrow first, I need more time to blend it. And I, I don't want you guys to be sitting there while I was blending. I could have also gone off camera, but yeah, um, I was, I needed to blend the edges more because I really don't have a transition shade per se. And I try to only stick to what was in here. Otherwise I would have picked up my single and probably blended it out a little bit on the edges, but it worked out okay. Well, at least you tell me what you think, okay? And also, before I go, and that's it. But um, like I said, highly recommend Nabla products. And the other piece I wanted to make sure I let you know is I've, I'm now at 709. I'm going to go ahead and launch that um, giveaway for my 700 Beautiful wild Wildflowers subscribers giveaway. Uh, but not today in this video. But I, I will be posting it this week weekend and i'm just gonna do that video with mindfulness so it's a very short video and get you guys going give you the rules so make sure you guys are looking out for it okay make sure you watch that video you click like and please 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 make sure you're subscribed okay just go in there and check look under your channel and make sure you see the bubble of my face there okay all righty my beautiful wildflowers um yeah let me know what you think and if I added any value today please do give me a like and if you haven't subscribed yet and you're interested in this type of content and more please do consider subscribing and clicking on that bell button and select all so you know every time I upload a new video including the giveaways okay my beautiful wildflowers so I want you to have a good day a good night a good week or a good weekend whenever you're watching this it does not matter at all but what does matter is that you remember never sweat the small stuff. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.